Article after article has come out saying that Richmond is the fastest growing city in Virginia. So why has the city blown up so much in the past few years? And what does this mean for you if you're a current Richmond resident or if you're thinking about moving here? We're going to find out today. I'm Greg Somerville, a local real estate agent here in Richmond, Virginia. I make videos to help people understand what life is like in Richmond. If you're thinking about moving here, if you have any questions, my number's on the screen. Give me a call, send me a text, anytime. It's easy to say that Richmond is the fastest growing city in all of Virginia, but is that actually true? Well, let's look at the facts. Researchers at the University of Virginia confirm that Richmond has enjoyed the largest population growth of any Virginia city over the past three years. Of the 80 84,000 new residents who have moved to Virginia since 2020, 48% of them have landed here in Richmond. Historically, Northern Virginia has been the fastest growing region in Virginia, but since 2020, Metro Richmond has grown at a rate three times faster. Now, most of Richmond's new residents are moving to the surrounding counties versus the city itself. Chesterfield County has added 23,000 residents since 2020, the most new residents of any county in Virginia. And Goochland and New Kent counties have also experienced expanded dramatically. So listen, folks, this is not fake news. Richmond is growing fast. But why? What is drawing so many people to this part of Virginia? As any good agent will tell you, real estate value depends on three factors. Location, location, location. And Richmond's central location makes it super attractive. Unless you hit bad traffic on Route 95, it's just two hours south of Washington, D.C., where you can catch concerts, sporting events, go to the Smithsonian Museum. It's also two hours away from the coast, 35 miles of sun and sand at Virginia Beach. And you're just two hours away from the mountains with beautiful hikes and views along Skyline Drive and Shenandoah National Park. Though the COVID pandemic was devastating in many ways, it did open up new opportunities for remote work. And a lot of people left the big cities in search of a higher quality of life, less traffic, more relaxed pace of life, more affordability. That's when a lot of people discovered Richmond. Richmond isn't just about growth and opportunity. It's also a city with some amazingly unique and fun attractions. There are way too many to count, but let me highlight a few. There are NASCAR races at the Richmond Raceway, the Unhappy Hour at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum. The Virginia Museum of Fine Arts is open 365 days a year with nearly 50,000 works of art. And general admission is always free. With more than 35 craft breweries, distilleries, and cideries, Richmond was recently named the best beer city in Virginia. History buffs are just a short drive away from Jamestown, Colonial Williamsburg, and countless Civil War battlefields. Sites. And if you like roller coasters more than historical reenactments, you're just 40 minutes away from King's Dominion and less than an hour from Bush Gardens. Compared to places like Northern Virginia, Richmond is a lot more affordable. The overall cost of living index is four points lower than the national average. According to Nerd Wallet, cost of living in Richmond is 35% less than it is in Arlington, Alexandria, and Washington, D.C. Housing costs are nearly 17 points below the national average. But the difference between Richmond in Northern Virginia is even more extreme. The average apartment in Fairfax rents for $22.59 a month, whereas in Richmond, it's $13.52. That's 40% less. Meanwhile, the median sale price of a home in Fairfax County is $766,000, while in Chesterfield and Henrico counties, it's $420,000. That's 45% lower. Now keep in mind, incomes tend to be lower in Richmond as well. The median individual income in Chesterfield County is $40,000. 6,000, about 30% less than it is in Fairfax. But if a remote worker can earn a Fairfax County salary while living in a Chesterfield County house, that's a no-brainer. Hey, let me pause here for just a second. If you're thinking about moving to Richmond or if you have any questions at all, my number's on the screen here. Send me a text or give me a call. I'd love to help you find a home in one of our great neighborhoods here. Or if Richmond isn't right for you, to help you find a place in some other Virginia city that is right. Okay? All right. Back to the video. Richmond offers an incredible lifestyle for its residents. It seems like every weekend there's another festival to attend. Arts in the Park, Dominion River Rock, a cool outdoor sports and music festival, the Carytown Watermelon Festival, the Hanover Tomato Festival, which is actually taking place this weekend, the Richmond Folk Festival. Innovative new restaurants are popping up constantly. Richmond has added 100 restaurants each year since 2020, and Chesterfield and Henrico counties have added 75 
25 to 100 restaurants annually since 2020. Some of these are chain restaurants, sure, but many of them are true originals, like La Paso, a long-standing Richmond favorite. Have you ever eaten at a restaurant where the chef brought in a seven-foot-tall baritone singing clown to entertain his guests and timed each course to a different Dolly Parton song? I didn't think so. You'll find at least nine farmers markets around town. Colorful, powerful street murals appear throughout the city. Richmond is building a new stadium for its double-A baseball team, the Flying Squirrels. And the new 7,500-seat River Amphitheater will host dozens of live concerts when it opens next summer. Are you in need of a little retail therapy? Short Pump Town Center is a two-level open-air mall with over 140 stores. But if your happy place is on a wooded trail or in a kayak, you're not going to do better than Richmond. Class 4 Rapids on the James River. Walking or running on the Buttermilk Trail. Miles of mountain bike trails at Pocahontas State Park, Virginia's largest state park. In fact, Richmond's public park system has been voted the 22nd best in the U.S. Job opportunities are another big draw. According to the Wall Street Journal, Richmond has one of the hottest job markets in the country. The journal surveyed 380 metro areas in the U.S. and Richmond ranked number 11, beating out Washington, D.C. and Raleigh, North Carolina. The average annual salary in Richmond is $50,960. The top three highest paying jobs in Richmond are financial services, energy, and information technology. Unemployment rate is 2.8% compared to 4.1% nationally. 11 Fortune 1000 companies are headquartered here. Some of the major employers, VCU Health, Capital One, Bon Secours, and Virginia Commonwealth University. With all the recent hype about AI technology, it's exciting to see that Richmond ranks in the top 10 cities for new AI jobs added in the first quarter of this year. And just this week, CNBC ranked Virginia the number one state in the U.S. for business. So what does all this mean for you? If you're a Richmond native and you're hoping to keep this great city all to yourself, I'm sorry, the cat's out of the bag. And when CNN names Richmond the number one place in the country to visit, as it did this month, you're going to see a lot more moving trucks headed this way. Richmond is growing fast and there's just no way to stop it. If you're not yet in Richmond, but you're thinking about moving here, you're in good company. I hope this video has helped you understand some of the things that make this city so inviting. You may want to check out some of my other Richmond videos that explore topics like affordability and safety. And if you have any questions, my number's on the screen. Feel free to text or call at any time. I would be honored to serve as your local resource for all things Richmond. Well, as always, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on next week's video.